Imagine this. After weeks of dieting, you step on the scale expecting progress, only to find you've lost more muscle than fat. It sounds impossible, but it's one of the most common traps I see in seniors over 50. The truth is, many weight loss strategies backfire. Instead of burning the stubborn fat around your belly, your body starts breaking down valuable muscle tissue. And when that happens, not only do you lose strength and energy, you also make it harder to keep the weight off in the long run. So let me ask you, why does belly fat always show up first and disappear last? Which actually burns fat faster, cardio or lifting weights? Does working out on an empty stomach give you an advantage or does it put your health at risk? And is there really a way to burn fat almost on autopilot without exhausting workouts? In today's lesson, I'll uncover the science of fat burning after 50, expose the most dangerous mistakes that silently sabotage results, and show you how to build a weekly plan that works with your body, not against it. Here's the hidden problem. Most seniors think that as long as they cut calories or move more, fat will naturally melt away. But the body doesn't work like that. When you create an energy deficit, your body has two choices, burn fat or burn muscle. And without the right strategy, it often chooses muscle first. Losing muscle after 50 is a serious issue. Muscle isn't just for strength. It's your body's metabolic engine. Every pound of muscle burns calories all day long, even while you're resting. When you lose it, your metabolism slows down, your energy drops, and fat loss becomes harder than ever. That's why so many seniors feel like they're dieting endlessly, but the belly fat refuses to budge. And here's the cruel irony. Belly fat is the most stubborn of all. Because of lower blood flow and a high number of alpha-2 receptors, the fat around your waist resists fat-burning signals. Meanwhile, your body happily sacrifices lean muscle. The result? You look smaller on the scale, but weaker in the mirror, while the belly fat still clings on. Left unchecked, this cycle leads to sarcopenia, age-related muscle loss, frailty, higher risk of diabetes, and even greater belly fat storage. In other words, the wrong approach to fat loss doesn't just waste your time, it accelerates aging itself. So how does fat burning really work? To understand it, we need to look at the biology behind every breath and every step you take. When you eat less or move more, your body searches for extra energy. It signals fat cells to release stored triglycerides, which break down into fatty acids and glycerol. These travel through the bloodstream, get taken up by your muscles, and are oxidized, literally burned, using oxygen. The fascinating part? Every breath you exhale contains carbon dioxide molecules that were once part of your stored fat. In other words, you're literally breathing fat out of your body. But here's the catch. This process only works efficiently under the right conditions. Intense exercise, for example, demands instant energy. In those moments, your body relies on glucose, not fat, because glucose is faster to burn. Fat burning requires more oxygen and more time. That's why fat loss happens most effectively during steady, sustained effort, when oxygen supply meets demand. Another key piece of the puzzle is hormone signaling. Areas like the belly and hips contain more alpha-2 receptors, which act like stubborn gatekeepers. They resist the signal to release fat. Meanwhile, lean muscle tissue is metabolically expensive to maintain. If you're underfed or overstressed, your body may choose to break down muscle for energy instead. That's why unbalanced dieting often shrinks your muscles while your belly stays the same. The science is clear. To truly lose fat, especially after 50, you need a strategy that protects muscle, lowers insulin, and maximizes oxygen-driven fat oxidation. Without those three, every effort risks backfiring. Before I give you the exact weekly plan, 
Let's expose the three most common mistakes that silently sabotage fat loss after 50. Mistake number three, trusting cardio alone. Many seniors spend hours walking or jogging, expecting the belly to shrink. Cardio does burn calories, but without strength training, your body often burns muscle instead of fat. Over time, this slows metabolism and makes belly fat even more resistant. Mistake number two, exercising on an empty stomach the wrong way. Yes, working out with low insulin can help fat burning, but only at low to moderate intensity. When you push too hard while fasted, your body panics and breaks down muscle for quick fuel. The result? You feel weak, performance drops, and fat loss stalls. Mistake number one, crash diets and starvation plans. Cutting calories too aggressively may cause rapid weight loss on the scale, but most of it is muscle and water, not fat. Your body enters survival mode, desperately clinging to belly fat while sacrificing lean tissue. This is why people often say, I lost weight, but my stomach looks the same. These three mistakes create the illusion of progress while quietly accelerating muscle loss and aging. The good news? By flipping them around, you can finally unlock true fat burning without sacrificing strength. So how do you burn fat while protecting muscle after 50? The answer isn't endless cardio or starvation. It's balance. Here's a simple weekly plan designed to maximize fat burning, preserve strength, and work with your body's biology. Step 1. Blend cardio and strength training. Monday, high-intensity cardio intervals, short sprints or cycling bursts, drain glycogen, and set up your body for fat burning later. Tuesday, full body strength training, squats, presses, or rows. This signals your body to keep muscle while you're losing fat. Finish with a 15 to 20 minute light walk. Wednesday, steady cardio for 45 to 60 minutes, brisk walk, cycling, or swimming. The last 15 minutes are when fat burning is highest. Thursday, active recovery, a light walk, gentle yoga, or easy biking. Restores blood flow without stress. Friday, strength training again. Alternate upper or lower body. Add 20 minutes of light cardio right after. Saturday, long duration cardio, 60 to 75 minutes. Even at a slower pace, this session taps into deep fat reserves. Sunday, rest or a gentle walk for recovery. Step two, eat for muscle, not just fat loss. Include protein in every meal to protect muscle. Increase fiber with vegetables and whole grains to curb cravings. Stay in a mild calorie deficit, enough to burn fat but not so much that muscle is lost. Avoid sugar and processed foods. Just five minutes of indulgence can undo days of effort. Step 3. Master oxygen and rest. Practice deep belly breathing during cardio. Inhale through the nose, slow and steady, then exhale fully. This maximizes fat oxidation. Prioritize sleep, seven to eight hours nightly. Poor sleep instantly reduces insulin sensitivity and blocks fat burning. When you follow this checklist, you're not just dieting, you're training your metabolism. The result is steady fat loss, preserved strength, and more energy every single week. Fat loss after 50 isn't about starving or running endlessly. It's about protecting muscle, balancing hormones, and creating the right conditions for fat to burn. When you blend cardio with strength training, eat protein at every meal, move lightly each day, and sleep deeply, your body finally lets go of stubborn belly fat without losing strength. My challenge to you, follow this plan for two weeks. See how your energy, cravings, and waistline change. If this helped, share it with a friend, leave a comment about your own fat loss struggles, and subscribe for more doctor-backed strategies. I'm Dr. Thomas, and I'll see you in the next lesson.